Hi, I'm Wendy Chung. I'm a clinical geneticist here at Columbia University. We've prepared the video you're about to watch to help explain a genetic test called clinical exome sequencing. With this genetic test, it's designed to better understand if and what the genetic basis of your condition might be. The video will explain the science of what's involved, as well as what's involved for you and your family members, and what the implications are. We hope you find the video helpful and that it will help guide the discussion that you'll have with your doctor, clinical geneticist, or genetic counselor as they explain the specifics about how this test might be helpful for you. You're certainly free to watch this video repeatedly and share it with family members. And then if you have questions, again, talk about this with your doctor. This is a video about exome sequencing. In the past, we examined each of the 20,000 genes one by one for the genetic mutation that was the cause of the person's genetic disease. This took a long time. Now, we have the ability to look at almost all of our 20,000 genes at one time using powerful computers. This is called exome sequencing. An exon is the specific portion of the gene that we believe is most important for telling our body how to function and how to build working parts. This is where we believe most genetic mutations occur. The exome is the exons of all 20,000 of our genes. So instead of looking at all of your DNA, we can look at only the regions where we think most mutations occur. For instance, Consider a time when you were reading a complicated textbook. Now, what if you could read only the important words or the concepts that you knew you would be tested on? It would take much less time to read, and you would be able to get the same important information. Similarly, with exome sequencing, we are able to read only the parts of your genetic information that we think are important or the parts that might have clues about your health. Who should consider exome sequencing? Individuals who have had extensive genetic testing but a diagnosis has not yet been identified. Individuals who very likely have a genetic condition based upon family history but the diagnosis is unclear. Individuals who have a genetic condition that could be caused by many different genes and the cost of testing each gene individually is greater than the cost of exome sequencing. Individuals with an undiagnosed disorder who want to be as aggressive as possible about quickly determining if the cause is genetic. 